The Lykewake Walk is a 40 mile challenge walk across the highest and widest parts of the North Yorkshire Moors National Park. The route remembers the many corpses carried over the moors on coffin routes and the ancient burial mounds encountered along the way. The name derives from a like, the corpse, and the wake, watching over the deceased. Join us as we take on this challenging hike through some of the most remote and beautiful landscapes that Yorkshire has to offer. And so here we are, literally just a couple of hours sleep by the side of a cattle grid. <laughs> Luxury. Luxury living. We're just two candles in the night. We're just two little candles in the night, look at the moment. <laughs> We've parked Joe's car on the other side and then we've left my van in Osmotherly and we're heading up to the tops now. It is 25 past three. So we're a bit behind sketch and we've got over 40 miles ahead of us and it's still, it's quite warm now, isn't it? Yeah. Like, yeah. It's pretty mild, isn't it? It's a mild one. It's gonna be a tough gig because we're already sleep deprived and tired. <laughs> but there'll be some tears. Oh, there'll be tears. There'll be awkward silences. There'll be just seething rage. Just bickering. Oh, I'll be fighting. It's lovely. It's a lovely evening actually to set off. This is perfect hiking. If it stayed this temperature, yeah. all day, happy days. Night gates. We can't be mucking about with gates and stuff really you've seen gorillas in the mist there you go gates in the mist when we're walking it's this stuff it's flying by us as well which makes it just a very strange sensation it does feel like you're going in through warp speed captain you can just barely make you out in mist it looks like something off a horror movie <laughs> i wonder what it would have been like if we had um, no torches yeah, nah. No. It's not happening. Torch is back on. The air's got really close and there's a definite change in temperature. There's a little bit of a heat wave at the moment. We're supposed to see highs of, I think, like 28, is it? Yeah, it was the hottest day of the year yesterday. Hottest day of the year. Why do I always do it on the hottest day of the year? A trail that's notorious for having no water stops and no shelter. We're home. We've just goofed a little bit. <laughs> it's our first goofing. Nothing major, maybe only about two minutes, but we can't afford to be doing these. But look how spooky this is. What would be the spookiest thing? Like, what if you saw just like a child <laughs> yeah. stood at Midlet Road in Victorian clothes. Yeah. Is that spookiest? That would freak me out, yeah. <laughs> what would you do? Run? I'd use my stick to get Would you? <laughs> kick, yeah. kick shit out of it and then his mum and dad come out at the side like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to a Victorian thing. <laughs> we're doing like we're at walk. It's his first ever walk. Yeah, he's traditional garb. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy! <laughs> We're getting sponsored thousands for doing it in traditional garb and you've just <laughs> scythed him down with your hiking poles. He's only eight. <laughs> He's the reason we're doing it. He's got... No, yeah, you hit him and hat comes off and he's bald. <laughs> He's the reason we're doing it for oh. charity. Oh dear. Yeah, that... I feel like seeing a, like seeing a, a, like a child in Victorian clothes on this road is scarier than seeing like, so I don't know, what do you think? Like a, what about like a, like a werewolf? That, yeah, I was just about to say that, but then I was like, oh, don't say that, because we don't want to actually get it's scared. like about eight foot, just like stood on two legs, but clearly a wolf. Yeah. That's transitioned like half. Yeah. A wolf in like Adidas tracky bottoms. <laughs> do you think we'll go for this? Yeah, let's just do it. Yeah. There's no signs around. Well, it's definitely what the map 
there's no lock on that guys that's just and that's just how it is there is no lock on it what is it it's a sock medic so far so good though eh no major incidents feeling fresh weather's good i'm hoping like the sun should burn some of tiredness away maybe 28 degree heat will sort us out oh is that an owl ground owl again it's a powerful star mate potentially a planet potentially a uf why is it moving like that look at it it's moving down are we gonna get abducted mate that's a ufo isn't it but that's it isn't it we're gonna get that's us probed <laughs> so uh, if you find this footage, well, you're not going to find it because if we get taken up there, imagine if they abducted us. They had a look at footage and were like, "These lads have got some." <laughs> They're like, "These lads have got some here," and then we <laughs> let's not kill them and like let's take them back to motherland as entertainers. And then we <laughs> we're on like another planet having to hike just with all the gear we've got now. We're basically ant and deck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're intergalactic Ant and Deck, and <laughs> it's like the Truman Show. We've just got to hike around this mad alien planet, and they just watch us. We don't know any of plants. We don't know any. Of <laughs> just mad animals and that. <laughs> Is it safe? It looks cute. <laughs> uh, it's changed into summer. He's going over at bridge, and I'll film you over at bridge. Look. Look at that. Yeah, that's an old bridge. Not many people cross this anymore. No, there's these... <laughs> you're going to find out why. <laughs> Not many people cross this anymore. <laughs> it's stung. <laughs> Brambled. There we go. He's ready. Murder barn. He's not a murder barn. Look at that. That's getting ready for winter. Yeah. Yeah, loads there. Look, ready to be logged. How you feeling? I feel good. The sun is starting to poke its head up. We've got islands in the mist, which sounds like a Kate Bush song. Glorious. And so peaceful. The sheep have come to see us, look. That's good enough for me. If it's good enough for you, it's good enough for Steve. The cloud inversion. Stunner. I am. He's a stunner, look. There he is. He knows it's true. Yorkshire's finest. Yorkshire's finest. Cutting a fine figure in front of this wonderful, fiery sunrise. And Joe was just saying, that it felt spiritual, wasn't you? And it I, is, I yeah. agree because we are doing something that deals with like death and life and all that, and well, mainly death, not life. And walking in the dark and then coming out into the light did feel sort of what is it? There's like a there's a deeper thing. There's like something to it, isn't there? Like yeah. stepping out of the light. You know I mean, stepping out of the dark into the light. Yeah, and we sort of hit that that burial mound just just as yeah was getting light didn't we yeah yeah literally out the dark saw the burial ground the lights coming out it's lovely and also we're super tired we've had hardly any sleep so anything we say that's dubious banter <laughs> it's, really. it's hallucinations and tiredness so if we say out mental that's why that's why yeah. curse that's it <laughs> So don't we? Let's get out of jail free. Get out of jail free, Yeah, Because we've been in dark and I can see you now. So welcome to the light wake walk. The sun is rising. And we're feeling good, I think. We're feeling good. You feeling good? I'm feeling okay. He's feeling okay. Feeling as expected. Yeah. There's gonna be ups and downs, swings and roundabouts. Yeah. We're gonna be in the saddle for 
is you know it's a 16 hour shift today but you know it is a challenge and that's why we're doing it and that's why we're doing it we're doing it for a good cause um if you want to see more about that you can just i'll leave a link below look at that the cloudy tides are coming in we're just looking at it and then behind us beautiful sunrise and the flowers are out on the heather oh yeah stunner absolute stunner beautiful morning Freeze. This beautiful stone seat. Joe's cooking himself up a. He's having a spag ball for Classic his... breakfast dish. Loved around the world for breakfast. Yeah. Loved in truckers' cafes around the UK. Spag ball. <laughs> He's lost it. He's having spag ball. I don't know. I might have some. I should have really. Shouldn't really be talking to you lot, Lou, lot about it. Uh, okay. I'm just trying to get some nice shots for you, so there's stuff to look at. Get right in, go on. Go in. Get, get your nose in. <laughs> oh, and also, like we said before, tiredness. That's that's tiredness. <laughs> <laughs> With the, we've gone delirious. <laughs> uh, Come and get us. Come and get help. Oh, the mist is starting to clear, but it's just still wispy and beautiful. Look at that, man. Oh, look at this one, dude. Oh, he's a beast. <laughs> Amazing. That's like some of a fairy tale, isn't it? A weapon. Look at look at look how much he's like had a go at it and it's still standing. It's still going strong, isn't it? Medic! The sun is cranking down now. It's warm, isn't it? You're starting to feel it in legs, what's run down. Yeah, I mean which part? Knees, hips. A little bit stiff. We're not far from the Lion Inn pub, which is pretty much halfway in it. So we're smashing it really. Uh, damage report: my legs feel all right. 
the underneath of my left foot is a bit warm, you know, when it gets a bit warm, you think, mm, could be a hot spot. Yeah, they use labs a lot as gun dogs. Medic! We've made it to the pub and officially the halfway mark. We're hurting a bit, aren't we, Joseph? Yeah. And the thought of doing all that again is, woo! It's a lot, it's a lot, but we're gonna. So we're gonna get in here, I'll put some chafing cream on, get some blister patches on, get some ibuprofen, all that sort of good stuff, fill the water, see if we can get some caffeine in us, um, and maybe have one of our meals, and then we'll bat on for part two. Sheep, look, Yorkshire sheep. Oh, drying our feet out, resting feet, that feels great. <laughs> we're, having, we're having coffee just for the caffeine, because I don't do iced coffee, so... We're stuck, we're just getting a warm, what, what's that? I'm gonna go full lather. You're going full lather, ibuprofen <laughs> gel. Just cover you selling it, you look like that. <laughs> hey, oh, just oh. a sheep, look. Road work, there's the pub. Right, some savage road work going on here. <laughs> the pub is right over there, we've come all the way around. I mean, what we've done is, we've over, we've, what have we done? Underestimated. Underestimated it. And over, over hyped ourselves. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, we've know. picked ourselves up too much being like, it was like, we read online it said, you know, the average time to do this is 17 and a half hours or something like that. So I was like, well, we'll do it in 15 then. No, it's, that's not the case as, it, as it's turning out. We were really hoping to finish in the light of day. It looks like we're gonna be finishing at about half nine, which it's not, light. it's not the light of day, so there's that. Oh, look at speed of it, look, bike. Yeah. So fast, so smooth. <laughs> this way, this way. What's that look? Oh, he's kneeling down. A murder, is it a murder? No, it's not, it's a, it's a gold rabbit. There you go. What's that then? Plunge pools, he says. Rich, dark, boggy plunge pools. Oh, it's boggy, isn't it, Simon? Yeah. How much for on camera for you just to like run and sort of belly flop into that? Belly flop? Like, yeah. yeah. Knowing I've still got to finish the hike. Yeah. No, you, run, no, you, you don't have to belly flop, but you just have to run and sort of get in it, jump in it. 200? 200? Guys, if we all chip in, at, <laughs> if we all chip in, 200 of us pay a quid each. Shall we do it? It's worth it. Go on then, yeah, do it. I'll give you 200. Yeah, bottler. We've got a bottler. Oh, yeah. Sensible Ed. After you've been walking on that gravel for all, or the road for so long, it's nice, even though this is hard walking, it's nice for a change, isn't it? Yeah. He says, yeah. There's these stone markers that sort of tell us to go this way. Also, I was looking at the map and I was like, what, what the, is some, what's going on here? I'll put a screenshot of where we are now. And it's, it's pretty apt. It's nice habitat, isn't it? But, oh man, look at it. Whew. Across here, as far as the eye can see, there's hills. <laughs> It's a lot of moor, isn't it? Yeah, this is not happening in winter. Right. And even if it's been raining a bit, you're like, well, we're definitely losing a shoe or two. People are just flunked in the old uh, plastic ones, just in case. Famous grouse. Have your autograph. Oh, that is a satisfying rock. Isn't it? <laughs> Egg car wash. Yeah. And, uh, get him in. <laughs> What's happened? I'm in the down. Why? Balance. Look how I'm doing artwork though. Film there for a year award. <laughs> Ain't it? <laughs> On, let's get, are you getting that look? Oh, if you were tripping. I mean um What? What? If you tripped and fell in. Yes. 
Well, that's what it looked like at Lake District recently. It was just literally sphagnum, like it's just moss. Ah, this is. <laughs> so I stood on it and I disappeared. We're lost, guys. Well. We're lost. We're lost in these reeds. There's no path. We've lost the path. Is it boggy? Yeah. It's boggy. It. Oh! Yeah. This is a tough gig. Oh, Marco, we really shot off there, didn't we? Spicy, that one, it. <laughs> FG. We're back on track after a big old detour through some bog. Clay and Heather, it's quite a nice combo. Got all these beetles in here. I'm gonna save them. Let's get them out of there. Come on, lads. Uh, 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 uh. Go on, run like. Uh, fly, my beauties, fly. Medic! Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, good lad. <laughs> We're going up, look. To this, which is, I mean, we've got a few people here, this has got to be a man made thing. And we're saying, oh, uh, maybe another little funeral pyre thing. Well done. From there, look, Friday in office. Another Friday in office. Fuck, that was sun's getting hot. <laughs> we were promised a body of water on the map this side of us, and it was just like, it was probably mud. the least imposing least imposing body of water we've seen on the whole walk. Yeah, it wasn't even a puddle was it, it was just mud. No. There's a road there. Yeah, I think we go. Is that the Roman road? Basically, sort of over there, don't we? We're heading, on yeah, we're way. heading this way and we maybe hug these trees and you can see, you can just about see that. Well, I guess you haven't heard, you've been around no more, things are to get much better, so I want to make this forever. It's real uneven, there's a lot of stone, so it's just tweaking it even more, despite it being quite a nice little section, this. We've got the forest to the left of us, these random pines. It is a lovely section, but it's hard underfoot. And we've got the sun at our backs. <laughs> oh, an optimistic search for water ensues. We've done 30 miles. 10 miles to go, so we decided to, it's not deep, but we can certainly just rest our weary feet in there. I can't do it, man, my ankle's too mullered. Oh, mate, that, oh, that feels so good. Oh, you're stretching your toes out. I can't do that one because I've got blister plasters on it, so that's going to stay out. Ankle's swollen, man. Cold. There it is, power squat. Meditate. Happy 30 miles. The big one. As far as the eye can see, that way is where we've come from. And more, a lot more. And as far as the eye can see, that way is where we're going. We've probably done half a mile there. We've probably just got under 10, just under 10 miles to go. We still can't see the sea. <laughs> Damage report. I'm not as bad as I was after the chill. Dunk. Yeah, the dunk sorted stuff out. I'm chafing. Chafing is on about an eight or a nine for pain. As well, it's because we haven't slept, man. You know, we had like two hours kip last night, so. And we've just done 30 miles and we've got another 10 to go. <laughs> so it starts playing havoc with your brain. And so that's why I've not been checking in and doing as much chatting as I should be. Because it's, uh, you need all your wits about you just to get to end. Can you see the sea yet? 
<laughs> no, we can't. Just more land. Well, this path looks all right, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, crack oh, on. Let's gan. Back by torchlight. We've done a full day. It's real weird. We've set off in the dark with torches on. We've just been done nothing but hiking. And now it's dark and we've got torches on again. I'm calling this the final section. We've just crossed the final road. And I'm just, what I'm saying is I'm sorry for not filming out because it's just been a bit brutal. There's been ups and downs on this last bit that we weren't expecting. So second wind out at legs. What wind was left in them anyway. So I'm just checking in to show you that this is us hiking in the dark after setting off in the dark. And you'll notice also that Joe's got the same bag as me, but it's the 58 litre and we've got big bags for this. I'll get into that another time and the reasons why we did it, because too tired brain doesn't work. We are broken men. After over 40, about 40 point summit miles, setting off in the R3. I don't know what time it is now, I'll put it on the screen so I'm not going to look. Oh... <laughs> Man. Oh my god, we've done it. <laughs> my feet are like. I don't even. It's past throbbing. It's like whatever goes next. After, oh, after yeah, like pulsating. Yeah. Uh, right, I'll catch up with you after. Because we are. Right, damage report. It's, it's going to be bad tomorrow, isn't it? Every single part of my body now aches. It was just my legs until the last few miles, and now my back hurts. That last three miles, I'm not afraid to admit it, was brutal. It was hard work. But some highlights, some low lights, what a journey. I'm too tired, and he's not listening. Say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> there we go. Here we are. Look. We finished rather abruptly yesterday because we were both mentally and physically done, weren't we? Yeah. Incredibly so. It's one of the hardest. I tell you, this is nice. This feels good. It does, yeah. Oh, we spent the night in a youth hostel, got some kip, and then we've come out to find some cold water just to rest our bones and revitalise. Highlights. The, the beginning section, maybe the first sort of four miles, even the bit in the dark, I can't actually quite enjoyed. Yeah. Part, you know, obviously, because you're just setting off and you've got all your energy and then. Full of um, enthusiasm. Yeah. And the weather and the, the just the morning was perfect. It was sort of magical, spiritual. We hit that first sort of burial mound. Yeah. Like Two thousand year old burial mound. And it just felt amazing looking down on the it really did that was a bit where it was like Oof, this is real in it like this is actually a thing they used to do to bury their dead the the, the low lying mist the sun was popping up sheep walking in front of us it was like yeah it felt like this is a journey we're off this is the beginning of an actual journey coming out of the dark as it got light yeah it was like right well, here we go and then it, it happened again but in reverse it was light and then it started to get dark and the last three to five miles yeah i sort of felt pretty good about sort of six seven five and i was like oh, you know i feel sore i feel mentally great and i just feel like i'm just gonna knock them out now and then that last three miles i think he finished me <laughs> particularly the last one which just seemed oh, like the longest yeah. mile anyone's ever invented it was dark we had nothing to see like it was like we we're trying to find a tree line and it just wasn't coming and we were like it was agonizing man 40 miles 40 plus yeah miles in a in a wanna i tell you what <laughs> good effort mate a very good effort it's gonna have to be something special for that to happen again oh i'm not doing that again <laughs> i'm not doing that was awful at times yeah but a journey and like joe rightly said while we were doing it type two fun yeah, very much so. <laughs> the second half, very much so. Was type two fun. Yeah. First and half, type one fun. There was a couple of sections where you know you you could be like forgiven for thinking I'm 
I'm a little bit over it now because it's slightly monotonous. Oh yeah, and but, boggy as well. If you if it was raining, you'd yeah, struggle. Yeah, but the vast majority of it is just a not really nice walk. A lovely way to see North Yorkshire, and now we can say we've walked it. Done it. The full width of the of the North Yorkshire moors from Osmotherly to Ravenscar. Yeah. And we have done it for a reason. We're doing it for charity. I'll leave a link below, and there's a little blurb that I've written. Um, as you, some of you may or may not know, I've uh, I've had the big C myself, and without uh, cancer research and the NHS and stuff, I I wouldn't be here now. And one of our close friends from our school days is going through it at the moment. Um, so big up Lucy, much love. And uh, so if you could afford a quid, 50p, something, don't go mad. Just a quid would be would be wonderful, just as a little token yeah, to make really our forty it. yeah to make our forty miles worth worth the effort. That would be great. And as I say, I'll leave the link below. But for now, are we going to dunk down? Are we going to go under with, with the camera? And that's how it'll end. I'm not going under. Why? Because it gets my ears funny, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, Joe's got funny ears, but I, <laughs> you can go. I'll go under because it'd be funny because we'll go under and Atz will just be left floating on top. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to do that. Come on, your ears aren't worth the, 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 the that shot will be great. <laughs> I'll try and leave that on top. We'll go under an axle, just float, and then I'll fade to black. I'm not doing it. He's not doing it. Right, we'll say goodbye then. Bye for now. <laughs> I'll, do, I'll do it. I'll do it. Ready? Bye for now. It worked. <laughs> that hat was on a bit too well. It was on a bit too tight. Hold on. Try it again. Hold on. Oh, okay. Take, take two. Take two. I have to take that's dry. Nice dry. Take two. See. See you later, folks. See you later. Thanks for watching.